Welcome to my channel. I'm Gan Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 5K9 in chapter 7. In this chapter, we talk about work and energy. So this is a model. It works, right? First one, we have a car. We have an object car. Its mass is given. And also, we know the initial velocity. And this car just had the spring. And finally, it stops. The, the V2 becomes zero. It is kept stationary, and then the distance it moved is x, d. And this force act on this car is come from the spring. So this force just uh, try to push it this way, right, to the left. And then the distance this car moved is to the right, agree? So in this one, we need to find the spring's constant. So we need the low end quantities. We know the initial velocity. Final velocity, we know the mass and uh, we know the d distance moved distance moved by this object. And we need to find the constant for spring. So it looks like we must find this force. Right? This force is unknown. And this force comes from spring, it is key x. This force changes with distance. There we consider the work energy principle. You can see the change of the kinetic energy it equals the work act on this object. So final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy equal, equals the work act on this object. The work act on this object is the spring. The force is Kx. The distance it moved is d and is x because this force changes with x, right? So we do the integral. And you can see in this case, these two are the opposite direction. So we can keep the negative side there. It's 100 cosine 180 degrees. And after we do this integral, it becomes negative one half kx squared. And then we input v2 inside, so this term becomes zero. So this term becomes zero, and then we find the equation. Zero minus one half mv1 squared equal to negative one half and kx squared. And then we can find this k very easily there. Then you can input the known quantities and get the final answer. Thank you.